Alright guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. This one is a bit of a uh, bit of a different one, this one, because uh, I had a bit of an incident uh, since last video, which I'll go to in a minute. But this video, I, I'm not going to be joined by anyone. Billy and Alex are down here mining. You can see their names over there somewhere. They're down here mining, but I don't need to be joined by anyone for this video, because this one we're just going to do a bit of a recap, so I'll explain in a minute. But I started down here, because Billy has been hard at work, and uh, he's built this really awesome uh, melon and pumpkin automatic farm. So what you do is, you pull this lever, and crunch, it breaks everything. The uh, pumpkins will start popping out from there in a minute, they all fall down. It's really cool, it's really big, but there's a lot of redstone inside it. I, uh, I'm not too good at redstone, so uh, credit to Billy on that one. I know he did use a uh, video to help him, but anyway, we uh, grab that, pull the lever, and it all goes back to normal. As you can see, the uh, seeds are the stalks are still intact, so they, uh, they just carry on growing. But anyway... We, uh, we put them in there, like so. And uh, if you remember the last video, we, uh, we came down here and all the animals were gone. We managed to uh, fix that. I'll say we. Billy's managed to fix that. Um, we reckon it's because we put more light down here this time. Billy said maybe it's because of the water, but I don't think so. I think it's more to do with the light. Maybe the animals need a certain amount of light to stay down here. I don't know. But in uh, they've been down here for weeks. Like, well, like, you know, Minecraft, like, weeks. But they, uh, they're still here. So... Uh, He's obviously done something right. I've uh, I brought Jim with me because my I did bring obviously I got my two dogs, Jim Bob, and uh, it's a it's really horrible walking around with two dogs. So I uh, I left I left uh, uh, Bob behind, and uh, not much changed down it. Billy had to uh, build a big glass shelter over his wheat farm because uh, sl we're obviously in like a slime area because slimes are constantly spawning around here. And uh, they keep spawning on his wheat, and it was a bit broken there. And uh, they're just completely crushing all of his wheat. I mean, there's, there's usually slime. Is there anything out here? There, uh, there you go. There's a slime. See, like I said, they, they just spawn down here. They spawn absolutely. Not just out here, though. Not just in this big open area. They spawn all over the place. Oh, I'll just shut the gate on myself. And uh, so, yeah, we had to uh, we had to fix that. Uh, that's pretty much it for down here, actually. We, uh, we haven't done too much down here. We... Uh, who we got over here? Uh, we got Alex. He's, uh, they're off mining. They uh, get out of the way, dog. They uh, they're both busy down in uh, busy mining. I don't really do much of the mining to be honest. I can't take credit for any of that. They pretty much do all the mining. I uh, I just make the videos basically. We have, do often have a good joke about that. Um, haven't changed too much in here. John has added these rather nifty pressure plates, so we don't have to keep opening and uh, closing the doors behind ourselves. Um, uh, Jim's going to go and stand on it. But the uh, the only opening we have to do now is when we walk in walk in, tread on the pressure plate, and it shuts the door anyway, so that's kind of cool, because you have to keep shutting the doors, because the monsters keep spawning in there, and uh, yeah, anyway, I'll bring you to the reason why we are doing an update video, rather than a build video, because although now, this is now full of sheep, and they all look happy, we went off wandering, all of us, and we went on a big uh, digging expedition, and uh, we came back to find a stray dog, or wolf, whatever you want to call it, had uh, got into the sheep pen, and no word of a lie, every sheep was dead. They had killed every sheep. All that was left was a few blocks of wool on the floor. So we, uh, yeah, we had to go and get some more sheep. We had to dye them again. So hence, the thing we wanted to build in this video, we just can't build because I just don't have the wool to do it in a minute. So unfortunately, yeah, we couldn't do that. So that is why we are doing a update video rather than a uh, rather than a build video. But next week, don't worry, I have got a. Uh, I've got another video that will uh, be going. We are nearly sorted. I probably could have done it at a stretch, but I'd rather have too much materials than not enough. Uh, this is the next new change. We have built this uh, handy little potion room. I, uh, I'm not too sure on how to make most of the potions myself. So what I've done is I went on the internet and I've found out how to make all the potions available on the Xbox version of the game. And uh, so I started here. We've got fill bottles with water and then add the never wart, which obviously I've got in there. And I think they're just normal potions, yeah. Obviously, if you add never warts, it makes it an awkward potion. And then we got here just pretty much how to make every potion. So uh, they are potion of fire resistance. You just add a magma cream and then that makes a fire potion. And then up here, we've got each what each of these do. So the redstone increases the duration. So for instance, a fire resistance will go from... A, a basic fire resistance is three minutes long. Add a bit of redstone, it takes up to eight minutes. Uh, the glowstone increases the pro potency of the uh, potion. And the gunpowder turns it into a splash potion. So you throw it at people rather than... Uh, rather than... Um, uh, drinking it. Uh, we've got here... These sinks are now purely cosmetic. <coughs> I... Uh, Excuse me, for uh, clear me throat. The, uh, I added the water to uh, fill up the sinks as an infinite water source. But then I realised I could actually use that to fill up my bottles of uh, stuff in here. 
So I thought there's no point getting rid of that, it's handy instead of keep filling the sink up. So yeah, the sink's now cosmetic. We are out here is my Neverwalk greenhouse. It just, to be honest, it just looked nice. And uh, we got plenty of Neverwalk. I mean, I think there's absolutely loads in there. What we got, they got like one, two, three, four, five, six, like six, seven blocks of 64 in there. So uh, we're not running out of Neverwalk anytime soon. Next, uh, I don't think there's anything new in here. Bob's sitting in here, and my cat is sitting in here. I haven't got a name for my cat. If anyone's got any ideas to name my cat, just give us a, like, leave a comment in the comments. Uh, my cat is currently just called Cat. So uh, you sit there a minute, Jim. Uh, here, we, I, I just wanted to build a room with all the different walls so I could have a proper look at them. So I've now called this the Thinking Room. Uh, pretty much as it says, you just come in here, have a look at different colours, maybe get some ideas. We, uh, I'm going to leave Jim there, I'm not going to drag him around the hotel with me. This is pretty much what we've been doing since the last video. Somebody's in my room, which means there's probably going to be something in my room that shouldn't be there, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. The, uh, the hotel is pretty much all my main builders that come in, all, like we all live in this hotel. We're going to have a quick look, apart from, uh, apart from Billow, Billow's new. We, uh, pressure plates keep popping up everywhere, since John done the warehouse, these pressure plates are popping up everywhere. Uh, floor 1, we got Billow, Bilby and Mars. Floor 2 is Graham, Floor 3 is Alex, John and me. Let's uh, go and see Billow. Billow is the snowman. He, uh, yeah, we got him with a nice white room for Billow. We thought that was kind of uh, fitting for him. He, uh, we have to make sure we shut the door behind us though, which I've gone and left it open because he did get loose once and uh, yeah, it turned the whole place to snow. Uh, this is Mars' room. Unfortunately, he's just claimed a room and hasn't actually done anything. He's just, yeah, done nothing with it. Hopefully, he'll get that done. He hasn't been on much though, he's, uh, he's been into his destiny at the minute, so he hasn't been on. Uh, Billy's room is, I won't show you just yet, but basically this, it's actually, you can actually go through the carpet, I never knew this. If I put a minecart on there now, actually I think I've got one in my inventory, and I'll show you. Uh, it can actually go through there, there we go. Basically that does lead back down to his mine again, but it's, it is finished as in it goes there, but he's doing stuff with it, I don't want to ruin it yet, so I'll, uh, I'll save that for another video. Uh, nobody else lives on that room. Up here is Graham's room. Now Graham came in and started his room and hasn't finished it and I think Billy's been in here because he's left his trademark cobblestone laying around. Uh, yeah, he said he'll get back to finishing it but I honestly don't think he'll finish it. That's probably why Billy's decided to come and start building statues in his room. We, uh, yeah, so there's not really uh, much more to do. Now I'm dreading going up here because I know somebody's in my room which really does mean somebody's gone and done something to my stuff. Not unless he's just standing there. We'll have a look in a minute. Uh, this is Alex's room. I like Alex's room. He's kind of a, I like his little kitchen, his little uh, peekaboo window thingy where you can kind of uh, pass your food through, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah that's Alex's room. Obviously, uh, these rooms come with balconies. Oh, the uh, top floor come with balconies. Oh, John's gone. Is it another, another pressure plate. See, these things are absolutely everywhere. John has gone mad with the pressure plates. Uh, John wanted the, uh, the scenic view, so he's now got a lovely view of the ocean. Uh, Mars's castle when he's finished building it and the back of the bench. You probably could see it in the last video. Why well, I, I had no arms, but as you can see, I've got my little tail poking out the back of the bench and I've actually got my arms uh, around the back of the bench. That's why I have no arms around the front. Right, moment of truth. He's either standing in my room doing nothing or he's done something and now he's waiting for me to come and see what he's done. My room... No, it looks alright at the minute. It looks good. I haven't finished it. I kind of like just... I built it for the sake of building it, but I haven't really finished it yet. We, uh, it's Billy. What is he doing? Nothing. He's clearly just standing on my balcony. For I thought he's down the mine with Alex, but clearly he's uh, not down there. Oh, Billy is there. He is there. Anyway, we uh, yeah, this is my uh, balcony. Obviously, I'm hoping eventually we're going to start building out there. Obviously, as you can see, we've done all that. There was a mushroom biome over there, but I've completely flattened that. And uh, we will be building out there, hopefully. Uh... This sign, I had nothing original to write on it other than my YouTube address. But basically that's just a marker so I know where the waterfall is. So I can uh, drop down off my balcony and uh, know where the waterfall is. And that is pretty much it. Oh no, I forgot to point out actually, the windmill over here. If you've seen my Minecraft tutorial videos, there's a big windmill in that world. And I really like that world. But since moving to the Xbox One, it's just not going to get seen very much anymore. So I decided I would rebuild it block for block. So... It doesn't serve any purpose, it's pure. I just liked it, I just built it one day because I fancy building a windmill and it came out really well and I quite liked it, so... Yes, yeah, nice to bring it over, uh, rebuild it again. And finally, <clears throat> I'm still not used to shutting these doors, these pressure plates haven't long been added so I'm not still in the habit of shutting the doors. Finally, this was a monster spawner and uh, we decided to take the monster spawner out because it wasn't that great. And Billy wants to make a Billy spawner, but unfortunately it's not going to be a Billy spawner, hence he now has a big B written in it. Uh, but we don't know what to build in it, so I'm going to kind of c turn to you guys. If you guys have got any ideas on what to put in it, uh, let us know in the comments section. And uh, 
if I pick your idea, then obviously we'll put a little plaque on the wall with your name on it. And uh, yeah, but we really don't know what to build in here. So literally, like any suggestions are welcome because we really don't know what to do with it. But we want to just we want to do something with it. So this is the size of it. Obviously, we can't modify the ceiling or walls because obviously it makes this is what makes up the warehouse look the way it does. So pretty much, if you've got any ideas what we can build in here, let us know. And obviously, say if I pick your one, then uh, yeah, I'll definitely uh, stick your name up on the wall and. Uh, Give you credit for doing so, but unfo that, unfortunately, I suppose unfortunately, it is, it is the end of this video. Oh uh, yeah, so the next video we uh, we get the sheep, uh, get some more wool for the next uh, build, and uh, we'll be building again. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this update video, and I will see you in the next one. Toodles.